Ladies and gentlemen, the New York Knicks have played just about 70 games in the 2024 NBA season at the time that I'm recording this video. And in these 70-ish games, they've missed arguably their second best player in Julius Randle for about a third of the season. Their blockbuster acquisition this year in OG Ananobi, he's only played 17 games since arriving in January. Their other new pieces in Bogdanovich and Burks, they're still trying to get their feet wet. Jalen Brunson was supposed to miss multiple weeks with a knee contusion, he ended up only sitting out just one game. Yet, despite the absolute circus that has been unfolding in the Mecca on a night-in and night-out basis this season, they've arguably been and continue to be one of, if not the most productive team in basketball through all of this. And I mean, sure, numbers like this, they are unprecedented to say the absolute least. But then when you shift the conversation to what they're actually doing on the court, I just, I don't know how they continue to get away with this. But before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by our friends at GameTime. GameTime is the number one ticketing service app on the market. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know as well as I do that March, it's arguably the most wonderful time of the year. And while trying to find last minute tickets, quality seats, or even just a fair deal, GameTime, it's been my saving grace. And it could be anything, basketball, football, concerts, you name it, you can easily find last minute tickets in your area, get a glimpse at what you're actually purchasing, and best of all, you never have to worry about any any of those hidden fees. So guys, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app today, create an account and use code hoops digest for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and use code hoops digest for $20 off your first purchase at game time. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. 13 of their 32. Failed them in the game against the Milwaukee Mutt when they were down 20 points. Swat him out of bounds. This is a clip from what is somehow statistically one of the worst offenses in all of basketball. Turnovers and we're 0 for 10 from 3. All banged up as Hartenstein's first shot of the night is good. But this, it's one of the best offenses in all of basketball. And the only difference between the two is this guy right here. I mean, seriously, guys, this New York Knicks team, they are a top three seed in the Eastern Conference at this point in time. And when you realize that pretty much the only constant this team has had all year has been those gaudy numbers from Brunson, the fact that they continue to win these games that realistically they probably shouldn't, it is going directly against everything the quote unquote analysts and experts thought they knew about this team. The biggest case in point of this would be the absence of both OG Ananobi and Julius Randle. Because obviously, as Knicks fans are patiently awaiting the return of these two to the starting rotation, in the limited time we actually saw these two share the court with Jalen Brunson, I mean, it was immediately the pure definition of a juggernaut rotation both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So yeah, when these three are healthy and on the court together, there's not many trios in the league that are matching the production that they're putting up. But at the same time, would you believe me if I told you that as soon as the injuries hit this team, they somehow got better? And really, you don't have to take my word for that, just look across the board yourself. Because I mean, whether it be net rating, defensive efficiency, lack of turnovers, rotations, chemistry, hell, even when you consider some anomalies like the new triple-double king himself in Josh Hart, the Knicks have drastically improved both their depth and versatility as a team by being forced to step out of their comfort zone and more importantly than anything, forcing Tom Thibodeau to use scheme adjustments. The biggest example of this has got to be the new four guard one big approach that Tibbs is incorporating. Now, most teams, they wouldn't be able to get away with running a rotation like New York has over the past month or so. But then again, most teams don't have a Jalen Brunson facilitating their offense. Just look at any given possession and the gravity that JB demands. Double teams are practically a formality at this point. Every time he steps within the three-point line, given his ability to score from the interior, better than most point guards we see in basketball. And guys, it doesn't matter if it's the Detroit Pistons G 
League team or if it's the defending champions. Defenses, they are going to send the blitz at this guy every single time. And with how fluent they make this operation look, you almost forget that OG and Julius Randle are on this team. And you see them do this most by surrounding one of the most creative facilitators in the game who can get an inside bucket really anytime he wants when he's left one on one with say one of the fastest rising stars in the game right now induce mcbride sidestep dribble three-pointer knocks it down or even arguably the greatest single season three-point shooter the knicks have ever had in dante divincenzo behind the arc here's a three Bang! There it is, number 11. Yeah, um, with the clip that these three guys are shooting at, forget guarding these three. Teams are just hoping at this point that they have an off night from the perimeter. But even when those shooting slumps occur, you notice pretty quickly that this offense almost never falters due to the constant use of their bigs as well. Take any of the possessions in the half court that we've already focused on, but instead, now pay attention to the use of either Isaiah Hartenstein or Precious Achua in these situations. I mean, it could be anything. A pick and roll, a dribble handoff, taking advantage of a mismatch, you name it. Defenses, they don't know what to do when this guy gets involved. And yes, even though the numbers from a guy like Hartenstein this season definitely don't jump off the page to the majority of the NBA world out there, but the next time you watch this team just pay attention to the revolving door that this guy acts as in the center of all of this and honestly because of new york's newfound ability recently to win these games despite the absence of star power it just makes you think how insanely efficient they'll be if and when the missing pieces return like Julius Randle, prior to his injury, he had been playing some of the best basketball Knicks fans had ever seen from him, whether that be from the interior or even the perimeter. Then when you shift the conversation to OG Ananobi, his two-way presence you notice through the film, and the record this team bolstered when he was on the court, that is all the proof you need of this guy's impact. And again, posting your best defensive month of the entire season without your number one defensive piece for the majority of those games i mean guys if that's not grabbing your attention i'm not sure what will but that is also where i'm extremely curious to hear what you guys have to think about this team situation so please let me know in the comments what has surprised you the most out of everything we've seen from this new york knicks team over the past few weeks or so and of course give me a prediction for how far you see this team making it if fully healthy in the 2024 playoffs but once again thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate y'all more than anything and i will see you guys in the next video